today on Ask This Old House. I'm going to show you how to transform a recessed light into any other kind of light fixture. Oh, they're beautiful. This is our dream house. We built this 14 years ago. We customized everything, worked with a builder to have exactly what we wanted when we moved in. The trouble is 14 years is a long time and our tastes have changed. This chandelier we picked out, we replaced our old brass outdated chandelier. We were able to match up the wires, measure the chain and hang it up and everything went smoothly. We love the recessed lights when we put them in, but now we are ready for a change and something new. We bought this pendant light to match our chandelier and I want it to go over my island in the kitchen, but this job is a little more complicated than I thought it would be. Yes, Amy, you're right. This job is a little bit more difficult than hanging a standard light fixture. Let me show you why. I bought this light fixture box. Normally, this fixture box is in the ceiling, and then these two screws, they hold the light fixture itself. Okay, I recognize that from when we changed the chandelier. Well, you can see the size difference. This is a four inch compared to a six inch hole that you would have in your ceiling. And there's a lot going on above the ceiling that you don't see. Let me show you. Okay. We have a new work fixture box that gets mounted directly to the structure of your ceiling. We wire it in through this junction box and then they drywall over it. So for me to remove this, I would have to cut out these bars, remove that box and tie it right into this new fixture and you'd have a big hole. Does that mean I can't get my pendant lights? Not really, I have a solution for you. Let me show you. Okay. I've got a kit that allows us to hang any light fixture from your recessed light. Wow, that's great, how does it work? Let me show you. They give you the socket adapter which screws directly into where the light bulb was. That brings the power to your new light fixture. Okay. I brought a cutaway. You can see that there's our light socket adapter and the wires travel through this hollow rod and the hollow rod is supported by this bracket. This bracket is screwed directly to the recessed lighting housing. Okay. Now you can see the threaded rod travels through the bracket and it supports this plate right here. Now this plate is gonna support your new light. And you can see the wires are right here. Okay. We have this medallion, which will cover the big recessed light hole, bring it down to a light fixture size. And then they also give you another medallion, which is blends in with the ceiling real nice. I like that one. All right, well, let's get started. Okay. Before doing any electrical work, it's always important to shut the power off at the breaker. Next, I need to remove all the lamps and the recessed trims from the lights. We're ready to start installing the kit. I'm going to start with this socket adapter. Now I'm going to pre-assemble the mounting bracket. Now we'll feed the ground through the hollow rod and the white and black. And this will bring power to the fixture below. The bracket is going to get screwed to the can with these self-tapping screws. I just mark the location and sink the screws. Now we're ready for the mounting plate. I'm going to feed these wires through the plate and the plate is going to get attached directly to the fixture rod. All right, this kit's installed and ready for a pendant. Great. Normally a light fixture comes with this fixture bar and it supports these two rods. These rods come right through the canopy and then they give you these decorative nuts that will fasten right here and you won't see anything. However, we don't need this fixture bar. We're going to remove these studs and screw them directly in to the mounting plate. Amy, hand me that light fixture. 
I'm going to put the medallion in first, and then we're going to tie in these wires. Black to black, white to white, and green to the bare ground wire. Now we just tuck all these wires inside the canopy. For your pendants, we're going to install this LED light bulb. It gives off the same amount of light as a 60 watt light bulb, however it uses 80% less electricity and it'll last a lot longer. Sounds great. Alright Amy, the power is back on. Let's hit the switch, fire them up and see how they look. Okay. Nice. Oh, they're beautiful. They look amazing. Thank you so much. I love them. You're welcome. Enjoy. Gotta tell you what, that is a great fix. You know, there are a lot of people out there with a kitchen ceiling that is just filled with recessed lights and they want to make a change. I've put a lot of those recessed lights in, Kevin. So we've shown kits in the past where you can take, say, a six inch opening and move it down to a five inch opening and it's got an integrated trim kit. Mm -hmm. We've shown ones where you can take an incandescent bulb out and put in an LED kit. But I've never seen a kit that you can put into a recessed can that lets you hang a pendant from it. That's right, not only a pendant, but any light fixture up to 50 pounds. Any light. And a fan up to 35 pounds. A fan too. So now don't they usually need a special box because of the weight and the movement? This is a special box. It's a fan and a heavy light fixture box. Yeah. It has these bars that are tie in directly to the structure itself. Oh, and so you're saying that we can put it um, in this can because we're actually tied into the joists right here at this connection? That's right. This is a new work recessed light where these bars tie directly into structure. Right. However, you don't always have a new work fixture. Let me show you over here. This is an old work recessed light mm -hmm. and you can see that there's no bars and these tabs right here are the only thing that supports this recessed light right. to the drywall. But hang on a second. I mean, we can see the difference, you know, when we're looking at it from this angle, but that's not the way we look at these. I mean, we look so at it from this side. This tab right here, these four tabs, they depict that it's an old work uh, fixture. And it, you can see those from down below. So if I see those, I can't use this retrofit kit. That's correct. All right. Now, um, can I use it, if I'm using the new work, can I use it on any recessed can? A five inch and six inch recessed lights. Not the smaller ones. Not though. the smaller ones, that's All right. right. Well, I do have to call out this little thing because this was terrific. You were actually screwing at a 90 degree angle right there. Sure. Look at that. That's that the only a... way we could get in there with the screw itself. So. I love that. All right. Great tool and good information. Thank you, right, Scott. You're welcome.